once upon a time, I, the soul, the being of light, live in my home, the home of all souls. My father, the highest of all beings, also lives here. In the midst of peace and serenity, at some point a stirring happens within me. The stirring pushes me to come down to a wonderful new world to play my part. The new earth is beautiful and bountiful. I am new, like a fully loaded and supremely charged battery. I am also totally aware of my truth, of my true identity, a being of light energy. Time passes by. Since I am a soul within a physical body, I begin to change. My battery is no longer supremely charged, but I am still fully charged. As a new being on earth, I am still aware of my true form, a being of truth and a powerful soul. My body enjoys the full potential of a self-aware soul. I am full of love, peace, health and happiness. Then, a shift begins. I forget myself, my true identity. I create many little false identities, little eyes, possessions, talents, wealth beauty, strength. I begin to identify myself with these eyes, that these are components of my whole being. I become body conscious. The biggest evidence of this shift is I begin to experience sorrow. Comparison and competition became a common phenomenon. From being supremely charged to fully charged, I become a half-charged battery. My little eyes become my complete identity. The world that I once came upon becomes divided. Different languages emerge. The idea of religion, such as Islam, Buddhism and Christianity, grows and attempts to lessen the feelings of conflict and sadness. Yet sorrow and pain continue in the world. By this time, I totally forget my original identity. From being soul conscious, I am now totally body conscious. I lose my original qualities of peace, purity, power, wisdom, love, joy and bliss. Instead, I now have lust, anger, greed, attachment, ego, carelessness and laziness. In fact, sorrow and peacelessness seem to increase. My transformation into a physical being is almost complete. My battery is almost completely drained. My true identity is crowded into a little corner by my little eyes. Everything around me becomes corrupt, polluted and degraded. In the midst of this chaos and immorality, 
God, our Father, the Supreme Being, comes to us. He reintroduces himself to us and tells us our story. In this way, he ultimately introduces us to ourselves, to our true, original selves. He tells us about the secrets of life, actions, relationships, fortune and misfortune, victory and defeat. He teaches us Raja Yoga. This connects us to Him, the Supreme Being, our true power generator. We begin to recognize our true selves, the soul, a being of metaphysical light, very much like our Father, the Supreme Being, divine and complete. I awaken and rekindle my true characteristics, become fully charged once again and return home. The world that I knew becomes renewed as I rest in the soul world, preparing myself to return to earth, ready to play my part once again.